Hello friends, I'm Naishik from blogtour.com and today in this video I'll show you how you can create a micro job or freelance services marketplace like Fiverr, Upwork and Freelancer.com. We'll be using WordPress to create this website and you don't need any technical knowledge, any prior experience or any HTML CSS to create this website. And for the design, layout, structure and features, I have taken inspiration from the top websites in the market like Fiverr and Upwork. Now if you see this is the exact same website that we are going to create the website that you see on your screen. This is our home page at the top if you see we have our logo micro job engine at the right hand side we have few options for example we have this bell icon when you click on this you can see all the notifications. For, for example if you are a freelancer if you have posted some job whenever you receive a new order for the job you will see all those notifications over here. Then after that we have this message icon when you click on this if you have any messages from your clients or from uh, someone else you will see those things over here. Now using this button clicking on this button post a M job you can simply click on this and you can post a new job. Then after that we have this uh, user thing over here when you click on this you can see your dashboard all claims your orders jobs and withdrawal money and all those things can be seen over here. We'll see these things after some time first let's see the demo website that we have created. Then after that if you see this is the uh, menu that we have you can see all these different categories graphic and design, wordpress, website programming, lifestyle and all those things. Then we have our slider you have different 5-6 images in the background you can change this title so here it says get your stuffs done from $5 browse through millions of micro jobs choose one you trust pay as you go okay so this is uh, the title and subtitle obviously you can change that then after that we have the search bar first I it is typed in I am looking for and you can simply type in whatever or whoever you're looking for okay so you can simply type in and click on search now and it will give you all the results uh, of your choice then after that we have the next section here we have some description about very short description about our company you can type in something about your company over here and after that we have the latest micro jobs shown over here if you see we have eight micro jobs which are posted these are the latest one when you click on this view all jobs you will see all the jobs that are you know posted on your website then we have another section which says why work with us and we are giving three options over here because we, it is safe payment is secured and we have top sellers i'll show you how the payment works how this whole process works just wait for a few seconds now okay then after that we have job categories as you can see PDA, PSD to WordPress, mobile applications and web services and all those things. Now how does this work so as you can see enter your needs select your favorite seller get your stuff done. Then at the bottom we have this section as you can see this is dynamic it has seen that we are already logged in. That's why it says your congratulations you are in you can go to your dashboard if you are not logged in if you are visiting for the first time it will ask you to sign up. Then at the bottom we have our footer we have four different sections over here for few pages like trust and quality how it works blog page and all those things. I'll obviously show you how to create all these pages and at the bottom we have the copyright text. Now let's see how a single uh, job would look like whenever you click on any one of these uh, jobs. Let's see how it looks like. Alright guys so as you can see this is how it would look like at the top we have the same things you know you have your logo all these menus and over here it says at the header get your the same title as you can see and you can post a new job from here as well. Now this is how the job would look like you know we have the title over here I'll design a beautiful flyer. We have a few images that is posted we have the last date modified and we have a description that the person who is posting the job can type for example I have worked in graphic design field for many years what I do for you is fast delivery never late quality work 100% customer satisfaction and also one free revision. Now you can give some notes like this please provide me with color page orientation page size and uh, front preferences. Now if the person thinks this is the perfect job for it they can see the rating over here they can see the price overall rating reviews how many sales this has got and how many days it will take to deliver this job okay so you, after they are satisfied with everything they can simply click on order now and they can make the payment. Okay so when they make the payment the payment does not reach the person the uh, freelancer directly the payment is 
the payment stays with us or the admin now once the job is done once the customer has said the, that the job is done and i am satisfied then that payment is released to the freelancer and a part of that payment is kept with you that is the website owner as a commission okay so this is how it works now they can also provide some extra services with this and they can charge some extra money for this okay for example they can just uh, provide extra services for example if, it, if they are providing wordpress services they can install wordpress for ten dollars they can install a theme for another five dollars and all those things then after that we have the person uh, who is posting the job or the freelancer you can see which country which language and a short description or by description about that person then you can contact this person view his or her profile from here so this is how a single job looks like let me show you how a category would look like so this is how a category would look like as you can see we are in uh, some different categories i know don't know which category is this okay so we are in graphic and design category as you can see and you have all the jobs that are related to this particular category you have this pagination you can see different pages and you can select the job whatever you like okay now whenever you create a new account you will see this kind of dashboard you can simply click on over here click on dashboard to the, uh, to visit this page now from here obviously you can change few information your country your languages and all you know, your you know contact detail uh, something about yourself and all those things now if you want to see your revenues if you have made some money some sales you can see from here you can click on revenues now as you can see over here the balance is this much uh, the away the working balance is this much this is the available balance and if you have some pending balance you'll see it over here now under working balance those balance or those amount will show which is uh, you know which is kept with the admin as i said you when the person orders a job the payment does not directly reach the freelancer it is kept by the admin so those payments are shown over here and once the job is finished that payment will transfer over here under the available pa payment and after once they have reached a particular threshold for example if you have set hundred dollars as the minimum threshold to withdraw the money uh, once after that happens they can withdraw this amount into their bank account or paypal account so as you can see order statistics uh, and all those orders that they have uh, right now they can see the task if, uh, if there is some task they can post a new job from here they can click on over here go to my profile and see some more options okay for example they can click on this my orders and tasks let's see so as you can see uh, this person has received all these orders this is the active order which is which means that this person is still working on this this is the finished order which means that this order is completed and this payment is received now this is a pending order this is some disputing order now disputing orders are those wherein the customer is not satisfied okay so the person the customer can dispute and now the admin has to decide whether the dispute is you know legal whether it is uh, you know whether it is right or wrong so the that admin can decide and he can decide whether to refund or to transfer the payment to the uh, freelancer okay so these kind of different things we have uh, bookmarks recruitments many different options over here so this is a very short demo of the website that we are going to create in this video i hope now you have a fair idea about what you're going to create and now as you can see this is the exact same website the procedure is same all those different options are same you know this is exactly how a website something like fiverr up or upwork works now let me show you just one last thing for example if you want to post a new job you click on post m job at the top and here there could be two options for example if you see we have three different plans so here what we are doing is if you want to post a job you'll have to purchase a plan for example there are three plans uh, one for five dollars and you can post five jobs with this plan so there is one option that you can have plans the other option that posting a job can be free so if you want to disable this uh, plans obviously you can do that which means that anyone can post a job for free so it's all up to you now they can select a plan they can uh, fill in all these details job details and they can submit and this uh, job will be live okay so this is the demo website this is the demo of a website that we are going to create in this video now i hope you guys like the demo website if you want to create the exact same website then stay tuned i'll show you everything step by step
how to create a website like this. Now, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. If you have already done that, click on the bell icon so that you don't miss any future updates. Make sure to give a thumbs up to this video. And if you have any doubt, any suggestions for me, you can leave them in the comment section below. With that being said, let's get into it. Alright guys, so to create this website, to create a micro job or a freelance service marketplace website or to create any kind of website, for example, an e-commerce website, a social networking website, a simple blog or a business website, any kind of website, we need two basic things, a domain name and a hosting account. A domain name is nothing but the name of the website or the URL of the website. For example, if you see over here at the top, this is the domain name. You know, there could be different things. For example, blogtoot.com is a domain name. Google.com, YouTube.com, Facebook.com, all these things are different domain names. Something that you will type in your URL bar to reach a particular website. And hosting is nothing but a computer wherein all your website data is saved and that computer is running 24 seven. Okay, for example, if you see all these images, all these different jobs that are posted over here, everything is saved in that particular hosting in that particular computer. So that computer is running 24 seven so that whenever someone visits from any particular country or at any given time, they can see your website live. It's very important to choose a perfect domain and hosting for your website because this is something that is going to stay with you for a very long time and a lot of things depend on your hosting. For example, your website speed and performance depends mainly on the hosting account that you choose. The Your SEO rankings indirectly depend on the hosting that you choose because of speed and all those things which are a factor which is considered in SEO. Okay, so it's a very important thing. You have to be very careful when you select any hosting company that you want to go with. Now, there are thousands of companies out there in the market and you have to be very careful to select them. Now, I'm going to show you the perfect hosting company that you can you know, stick with the company or the hosting account that I personally use on all my websites, whether it be blogtoot.com or nashik.com and this is the same hosting that I use on any of my clients uh, website or my friends or family's website. So this is the hosting that I trust that I have experience with that I use in almost all my website and I am really satisfied with the service they provide. The support is really good. Whenever you fall into any problem, they have a live chat. You can go there, you can type in your problem and they will try to solve your problem as soon as possible. You can chat with them live. So that is really, really amazing. And you know, the speed and performance app of that particular hosting is also really amazing. So let's do, let's see how we can do that. Okay. So you have to open a new tab and type in blogtoot.com slash TMD. Now this link is also given in the video description below. So you don't even have to type in this thing. You can simply click on that link and you should be redirected to this page. All right, guys. So the first thing that you see over here is that it is a cloud hosting. It is not the regular shared hosting. It is the cloud shared hosting, which is really amazing. Most of the most of the times you see the regular shared hosting, which is not that great. And this one, the cloud share hosting is a way more better than that regular shared hosting. So that is really great. Now, if you see over here at the bottom, we have three different plans, starter business and enterprise cloud. Now, let me show you the different features that are available over here and why I recommend this uh, hosting or any other hosting in the market. So if you see the first two options or the first two features are six core CPU and six GB of DDR4 RAM. Now, just a few moments ago, I have explained you that hosting is nothing but a computer wherein all your website data is saved and that computer is running 24 seven. First of all, if you see this thing pops up, this is a live chat that if you have any problem regarding your sale or regarding whatever, you can simply type in those things and you can chat with the, uh, with these guys live. This is really amazing. Okay. All right. So we were talking about this thing that it is giving you six core CPU and six GB of data uh, DDR4 RAM, which means that the website, uh, your website data is, you know, hosted on this kind of computer, which is a really strong computer. That computer is using a six core CPU and six GB of DDR4 RAM, which is really amazing. Now, the next feature is that you get unlimited bandwidth, which means that you can transfer unlimited amount of data from your website. You can upload or download unlimited amount of web, uh, data from your website. 
Now the next feature is the most amazing feature that these guys provide is that it is they are providing SSD space. Now most of the hosting companies provide the regular HDD space and these guys are providing the SSD space. SSD is way more faster, reliable and secure than the HDD. Now if you want to learn more about that, you can simply open a new tab and type in SSD versus HDD web hosting. Now you can, there are many different articles, obviously you can read them, you will get a better idea about what is the difference between them. But you can simply click on images and you can select the first result, you will see everything in graphical form which I always prefer. So as you can see, there are three different criteria over here, speed, IOPS and latency. Now, if you see the first criteria is speed at the bottom, it says higher is better. And as you can see, SSD is way more higher than the regular HDD. The second one is IOPS. Again, it says higher is better. And this time the difference is around 100 times. So in IOPS, in terms of IOPS, SSD is 100 times better than the regular HDD. Now the third criteria is latency and this time it says lower is better. Again you can see the difference is around 100 times. So now you get a better idea about the difference between SSD and HDD. So the bottom line is that SSD is way more better than the regular HDD and these guys are providing SSD space and that too unlimited SSD space. There are very few companies that provide SSD space and there are hardly any companies that provide unlimited SSD space. And here as you can see we are getting unlimited SSD space which is really amazing. Now you can also host unlimited amount of website in this one which, mean, which means that suppose to, today you are creating this website, this freelance marketplace website, tomorrow you might need to create some other website, maybe an e-commerce website or a simple blog. So what do you have to do? You don't have to purchase a new hosting for that. You can host those websites in the same hosting that we are going to use right now. In fact, you can host unlimited amount of website in one single hosting plan, which is really amazing. You also get a free domain with any one of these three plans. You get a premium support. As I said, you the support of these guys is really amazing and support is a very important factor to be considered when selecting or when going with any single hosting company. So as you can see, this chat box is right over here. You can simply go ahead and start chatting with these guys. So really amazing. Now we have free cPanel, NG INX web server and wildcard SSL. We also get wildcard SSL. Now SSL, if you don't know what is an SSL, if you see over here this lock icon at the top, this is the SSL certificate. If you go to my dummy website or my demo website, you'll see this icon over here. And when you click on this, it says this connection is secure. So this is the SSL certificate. It is very important to have a SSL certificate, especially on this kind of website. In this website, we are going to accept payment. Obviously, the uh, the person who is purchasing the service will have to pay. So wherever there is some transaction going on, there is some payment going on, SSL certificate is compulsory. If you don't have SSL certificate on your website, you cannot accept online payments. You cannot accept PayPal or credit card payments, which is not very good okay especially considering if you're creating this kind of website so we get ssl certificate not only that we are getting wildcard ssl certificate which means that ssl certificates can be installed on unlimited number of websites domains and also subdomains which is really amazing because if you go in the market you'll see a single ssl will cost you around 40 to 100 dollars so we are saving a lot of money over here you also get optimum cache. This will improve the speed of your website. Then we get memory cache instance of 256 MB. This will also improve the speed and performance of your website. You get three times better performance and 60 day money back guarantee. Now, if you're creating this for the first time, if you're creating your first website, I will highly recommend you to go with business cloud. Don't go with enterprise cloud right now. You can obviously upgrade anytime you want uh, and, and don't also go with starter cloud because if you see the difference is just one single dollar per month and the amount of difference in features is really huge. In starter cloud, you can just host one website. So suppose if you want to create another website, you'll have to create another, you'll have to purchase another hosting account. So that is not a great idea. So I would highly recommend you to go with business cloud. I think this is uh, the price and everything is really good. You can simply go with this one. So you can click on this get started button. 
all right guys so here we have to enter the domain name that you want for free so you can enter your domain name so you just simply enter your domain name and after that you can select your domain name extension whatever you want if you on .com .net .org if you want you can select some country specific like dot in for india dot uk for obviously uk dot co dot nz for new zealand and all these things okay i would highly recommend you to stay and stick with dot com because i think that is the most common dom domain name extension and whenever someone is thinking about a website they presume that it will be dot com okay so simply type in your domain name over here select the extension and click on proceed all right guys so here we have to enter some basic information about ourselves for example your first name last name your email address phone number and all those things okay and after that we have the payment information if you want to make payment through credit card debit card your atm card you can simply select the type of card enter the card number expiry date and cvv number over here you can also make payment through paypal if you want now for those of you guys if you are watching it this video from india in most in most of the indians have that rupee card now rupee is a local card which means that you can use that only for transactions in india if you want to make some transaction out of india you'll have to you know upgrade your card to visa or mastercard so just make sure you have a visa or mastercard over here obviously if you want you can make payment through paypal as well then after that we have purchase information first option is to select a data center location you simply have to select the one which says nearest to you for example here singapore says nearest to you so i'll select that one for period i would recommend you to stay with 12 months uh, that is the best selection now there are a few add-ons over here domain privacy site lock i would not recommend you to tick mark any one of these but if you want you can use this thing domain privacy because i think this is quite a useful one because this will protect the you know privacy of your domain for example no, no one will be able to see who is the person who has registered this website who is running this website so i think that is a good thing now this will cost you only ten dollars per year so i think this is worth it now you have to come at the bottom under promo code and type in nayar 7 n a w y a r numeric 7 now again this thing is also given in the video description below so some uh, sub, suppose it in future if this thing changes then you will see that new one over there you so you simply have to type in this click on apply now as you can see this says that this promo code gives you seven percent of this purchase so you're getting seven percent discount and seven percent is the highest discount that dmd offers on cloud hosting and all those hostings now at the bottom you simply have to tick mark this i agree to tmd hosting terms of service and click on checkout all right guys so once you click on that checkout button you'll receive a mail from tmd hosting and it would look something like this if you see over here we have few options like you have uh, there are many important information given over here for example your ftp cpanel username password your server ip your name servers and at the bottom we have few important links okay so these are some really important and crucial information so make sure you save these things somewhere if you want you can take a printout of this you can forward this to different email addresses if you own multiple email addresses obviously you can forward this to those different email addresses now what you have to do you have to click on this link which is given at the bottom your control panel link make sure to click on this link now this is nothing but your domain name slash cpanel so whenever you want to come to your control panel or a cpanel you simply have to type in your domain name forward slash cpanel now from here copy your username and password your ftp cpanel username and password and paste it over here now click on login all right guys so this is our cpanel as you can see this is how your cpanel looks like there are many different options over here we simply have to go at the bottom under softaculous app installer and click on wordpress now because we have purchased the domain name and hosting it's time to upload wordpress or install wordpress on our website okay so that is what we are going to do right now click on install now now from here you have to select the third one or the fourth one https one okay just select https as you can see here also it says to select https now if you don't select https you will not get this uh, secure pad over here 
So select the HTTPS one from here and then select your domain name from here. Now obviously if you're doing this for the first time you'll see only one domain name over here but, but because you know I have created many different websites I am seeing all those domain names over here. Then you have this thing in directory uh, WP is already typed in simply delete that thing make sure this thing is blank. Now under site settings you have to give a name to your website and some description about your website. So for a name you can give a name of your website so I can simply type in Fiverr and for site description you can type something like uh, maybe micro job marketplace something like that you know and make sure to also change the username and password very very important so I'm doing that I'm changing my username okay all right also change the password you can hide this thing okay and make sure to also change the email address okay put in your own email address over here go at the bottom and click on install so wordpress is getting installed on your website it will take few seconds four five seconds let's see as you can see over here wordpress is successfully installed now we get two different links over here the first one is simply your uh, website link your website url and after that we have the administrative URL or your dashboard link. Okay, so you, we have to open both the links. Let's see how it looks. And now after that we can cancel these things. All right guys, so this is your dashboard and this is how your website is looking at present. Okay, so this is your website. It is looking quite bad. We don't want a website like this. It is really looking very bad. And this is our dashboard. Now this is the place from where you will have, you will control your entire website. Whenever you want to create a new page, whenever you want to receive payment, whatever you have to do, this is your control panel website. This is your control panel, uh, you know, page. This is the place from where you'll have to control everything that happens on your website. Now, whenever you want to come to this page, you simply type in your website name forward slash WP hyphen admin. Okay. So, after your domain names, uh, type in wp-admin and you will be redirected to this page. Now let me first do one thing. Let me click on appearances. Now if you see there are three different themes automatically are already installed on your website. Now a theme is nothing but a design of your website. For example, by default 2017 theme is installed over here and as you can see the screenshot looks exactly like our website. Okay, so this is the design that is installed on our website. If you want a design something like this, you can install this theme or if you want a design like this, you can install this theme. Now these are some really bad themes, so we don't need them. We can simply delete these things. Simply click on this, click on this delete link and it will delete this thing. Now we want to change the design of our website and we want to make something amazing like this. Okay. So for this, we'll have to install a theme uh, that will allow us to make our website or to convert our website into our freelance service marketplace website. Okay. So for that, what you have to do, you have to open a new tab, type in blog com slash micro job. Now again, this link is also given in the video description below. You simply have to click on that link and it will redirect you to this page. All right, so this is the page as you can see, this is the uh, theme as you can see. All the features are given. And if you see at the bottom, you'll see uh, the uh, amount that it will cost you. Okay, so this theme, there are three different plans over here. Uh, micro Engine Basic, Micro Engine Plus and Pro. Now for most of you guys, I think the basic plan should be sufficient because if you see all the options are available in the basic plan, the uh, the PayPal Express checkout, the theme and child theme and uh, the PSD file that we are not going to require obviously but and 12 months of free update and 12 months of support. So I think for most of you guys uh, the basic plan should be enough. But if you want uh, three different extensions for example job verification, bookmark and stripe obviously it will include all the things that is present in basic plus these three extensions then you can go with micro engine plus package i'm using the plus package but i think uh, for most of you guys the basic package should be sufficient but obviously if you have few more bucks to spend you can go with uh, this plus package so simply click on any one of these and purchase this plan or purchase this theme and it all it, all, it has all the plugins that we'll require okay 
so i'm not going to do that because i have already purchased this so i'll cancel this thing and let me show you what happens when you purchase this thing okay so as you can see on your screen when you purchase that you will see a file you will download a file like this micro engine micro job engine 1.3.6 this is the zip file you have to unzip this so you can simply right click over here click on extract files and you will see a new folder by the same name micro job engine 136 you can open this and here you see you have your theme and you have all the extensions or plugins over here so we have to install all these things one by one let's do that let's come back to our website and make sure you are under appearances so if you're not simply click on appearances and click on add new to add a new theme now because we want we have a file and we want to upload that file we'll click on this upload theme link choose file and we have to choose this file okay we have to open this folder that we have extracted and under this we have this thing micro job engine 1.3.6 don't upload this file the main zip file make sure to unzip that and in that zip file we have another zip file okay so this is the file that you have to uh, install so select this thing click on open click on install now so this theme is getting installed on your website if you want to see the progress you can see at the bottom left corner of your website all right guys so as you can see that theme is successfully installed now it's time to activate the theme so simply click on this activate link okay so once you do so you'll have to enter your license key to make sure that you get all the uh, stuff that comes with this theme so it is very important you get your license key when you purchase that uh, package from there now let me enter my license key over here Okay guys, so once you enter your license key, once you activate the theme, what you have to do, you have to start installing the plugins or the extensions. So what you have to do from the left hand side, you will see plugins over here, Hover plugins and click on add new. Now for those of you guys who are new to WordPress, plugin is a way to extend the functionality of your website. So basically it's a file or it's a small software that will add some extra features or functionality to your website. So that is basically what it does. Now let's click on this upload plugins, choose file and open this folder extensions and you have to upload these files. Okay. The whatever file starts with MJE. Okay. So MJE stands for micro job engine. So first we have to install this one micro job engine bookmark. Select this thing, click on open install now. Activate plugin. Again, click on add new to add a new plugin. Again, upload file, select file. Let's select the second file, which is a uh, micro job engine claim. Click on install now and activate the plugin. Repeat the process for all this, uh, all the five or six plugins. So click on add new. Upload plugin, choose file, choose this third one, which is job verification. Activate plugin. Again, click on add new and let's upload the fourth one. Click on upload plugin, choose file. And this time let's select this PayPal Express checkout, uh, open and install now. Again, click on add new. Upload plugin, choose file and I think this is the last one, uh, MJ Stripe, select open, click on install now. Activate plugin. All right, so with this, we have all our five plugins installed and activated. Now we can delete these things. Uh, we don't need this. Okay, so make sure you have only these five plugins over here. Now let's come back to our website. Let's refresh this. All right, guys. Now, as you can see, the website has already started looking like the demo website, but obviously it does not look exactly like the demo website. Many features are not yet present over here. So obviously we'll have to do all those things. Now let's come back to our dashboard and let us first do some really basic settings. Okay. So what you can do from the left hand side at the bottom, you'll see this settings link. Click on that. 
Now here we have some general settings. Obviously, if you want to change the site title or the website name, which we have chosen earlier, you can change it from your Fiverr, or micro job marketplace. You can change all these things from here. If you want to change your email address, you can do it from here and make sure to select this thing. Membership, tick mark this, anyone can register so that anyone can come to our website and register themselves. This is very important because if you don't tick mark this, no one will be able to sign up to our website on our website so that it's a dangerous thing. Just make sure this thing is tick mark. Very, very important. Now go at the bottom and click on save changes. Now there are more settings that we'll be looking at later on. First click on this permalinks which is under settings and from here select this one post name and click on save changes. All right. So the basic settings are all done. Now let's do the theme settings. So you can hover this engine themes or uh, engine settings and click on this one theme options. Now these are the theme options. These are some really un important options over here. And I forgot to mention one thing that whatever images or whatever thing that I have used in my demo website, I'm giving everything for free. So all the images, the uh, files, whatever we have, this job files and everything, I'll be giving them for free. So you can simply, you'll find a link in the video description below. Click on that link and let me show you the page that you will be redirected to after you click on that link. All right, so after you click on that link, you will be redirected to this page. And here we have some important links. For example, you have TMD link over here. You have micro job theme download link over here. And here we have this link free e images and CSS. You have to click on this. And as you can see, one file has started downloading. Let me cancel that. So in that file, you will see all the images, everything that I have used in this website. Okay, let me come over here. So first setting over here is user settings. Okay. So if you want to, you know, put or upload a default avatar or user thing, for example, let me show you what that is. Whenever you open any job, you'll see the person who has uploaded that job. Okay. So as you can see, this is the blank. This person has not uploaded his uh, DP or display picture. So what we can do, we can uh, suppose when, whenever someone does not do that, we can set a default, uh, you know, DP or a profile picture for them so that if they don't upload that, this default thing will be shown. So let me do that. Let me click on this. Come over here. Now this is the, uh, let me first open this micro job engine. Now, if you see over here, let me, okay, let me cancel this thing. Let me show it from here. Now, if you see over here, we, you'll, you'll, whenever you click on that link, download button, you'll download this file, micro job engine tutorial Naya shake. This is also a zip file. You have to obviously unzip this. When you unzip this file, you'll see this folder. Okay. And all the images that is uh, used, everything that is used is given over here. Okay. So uh, we have to use these things. So let me select that image from here. Okay. This is the file folder. And in this folder, we have this image main thumbnail, select this, click on open. Now that will be set as the default thumbnail. Now, after that, we have few authentication options. So brief description to promote your sign up process. So whenever a person will you know, sign up to our website, they will receive a mail from us. Welcome to micro job engine. Obviously you can change this micro job engine and put in your own website name. For example, welcome to blog .com. You can put something like this. If we have amazing skill, we have amazing jobs. Micro job engine has opportunities for all type of fun. Let's turn your hobby into big bucks. So whatever, if you want to do some, if you want to add some more text over here, you can do that. It's really easy. Now email confirmation, if you can enable or disable these things. Now, whenever someone creates a new account on our website, obviously they'll have to enter your, their username, uh, their email address and all those things. Now, suppose if you want them to first confirm the email address, you can enable this. Now, when you enable this, they'll receive a mail on their email address. They'll and that mail will include a, you know, confirmation link, they'll have to click on that link. And only that after that, they can start selling on our website. W once they confirm that their email address is legit. Okay. So if you want that, you can enable this. If you don't want that, you can dis disable this. Now, once you disable this, whenever someone puts in their email address, they can just start posting jobs. They don't have to verify their email address. 
So it's all up to you. You can select whatever you like. User profile, local time zone enabling this will allow users to select their local time zone. So I think it's quite important. Now you can leave the option four and five and come over here op no, option six. Now there are a few templates given over here, register mail template. Now this will send, uh, this template will be, or this email will be sent to user when he, he registers successfully. So as you can see, hello, and in under display name, that person's name will be displayed. So hello, Nayar Sheikh, you have successfully registered an account with blog name. So under blog name, your website name will come. So for us, it is Fiverr. I have named my website as Fiverr. So you have successfully registered an account with Fiverr. Here is your account information. Okay. All these things. So you can change some more. If you want, you can do some changes over here under all these templates. So you have whenever that mail is, you know, confirmed, that is the template confirmed mail template. If they forgot password, that is the template. This, the template will be shown to them. They, they'll get a recover URL. They have to click on that URL and they can set a new password. So all these options are given over here. This was user settings. Let's go to micro job settings. Now, similarly in my micro job also, you can set a default thumbnail. Now let me show you what is a thumbnail. So let's go to the home page. Now these are the thumbnails for different micro jobs. So if you, if someone does not upload a thumbnail, you can set a default thumbnail for that. For example, let me do that. Click on jobs and let me select this one as the default thumbnail open. Now after that micro job price, now whether you want to set a fixed price or custom price, if you set fixed price, so whatever job a person will post, it will be a fixed price that for example, $5. So whatever job they are posting, they'll get $5 for that. If you want to select custom, you can select custom and you can set minimum and maximum price. For example, minimum $5, maximum $100. Now the person can, you know, rate their service, uh, in this range between five and hundred dollars. Now here you have to set up the commission that you want. So if you want 10% commission, you can select 10 over here. So the, if, if, if suppose if a person is providing a service or a micro job for $10 and if a person has purchased that service and once the service is delivered, delivered, you'll get 10% of $10, which is $1 as your commission. Okay. So you can set this thing. If you want to, in, uh, get some more commission. Obviously you'll have to increase this number. If you want 20% commission, you can type in 20 over here. Then micro job verification pending review. Okay. So uh, suppose someone just submits a job and if you want to first check that job and after that, you know, display that job on your, on your website, you can enable these settings, but I would recommend you to disable this because you know, uh, you will be getting thousands of jobs for beginning. When you create this website for the first time, you can enable this thing. So whenever someone submits a job on your website, you'll first see that under over here. Let me show you under micro jobs. You will you'll have to open this thing. Micro jobs, no jobs are fine right now, but once someone submits that you will find that job, you will have to publish the job, this job only then it will show on your website. If you disable this, once they you know, just submit the job, it will start displaying on the website. So that is what it does. Editing uh, the micro job. So once the job is submitted, do you want to enable the person to do some changes editing in the job? So I would recommend you to disable this because you know, what happens is the person can post a job and they can say seven dollars, seven days delivery time. And if they are not able to do that, they can uh, just go ahead and change that to 10 days. So I think it is not recommended. So you can disable this micro job order limit. So order completion date limit. If you want to set this to some different number, you can do that file type accepted PDF doc file, all these files. So if you want, don't do any changes over here. Maximum file size default is 64 MB. You can include increase that. For example, you can increase this to 128 MB band word list you can do these things and we have some more templates over here for example when a person posts a new job they will see this mail a uh, user author has submitted a new this mail will be sent to you okay that this author has submitted a new micro job on your website could you review it over here so this is the mail that you will get 
now that when the that mail or that job is approved the person will get this mail dear display name your post posted in this website has been approved okay so all these different templates you can if you want you can do some changes over here now let's go to currency you can set your currency over here you have to put in the code first of all so usd if you want to put for indian rupees you have to type in inr for indian national rupee so usd and sign for this dollar sign currency position i want left number format you can select the format uh, the thousand separator and the uh, dot whatever uh, decimal uh, thing you have to select that one all right so after this we have payment type now enabling this will allow users to submit m job for free now we have to select this thing from here for example whenever you click or uh, whenever a person clicks on this post uh, m job there are two options i have explained you this earlier okay here this uh, that option is not available so one option is that they will have to purchase a plan and once uh, once they have a plan they can post a job the other option is that they don't have to do anything they can simply post a job for free so if you want them to post a job for free you can enable this thing now after that they can post a job for free if you want to this and disable this thing and if you want them to purchase a plan to post a job you have to create few plans let me show you how you can do that for SKU, you can simply type in one or two, three, whatever you like. For package name, you can set different package name. For example, I'm creating one standard. For price, you can select, for example, for this standard package, I want $5 price and duration should be 30 days. Okay, and number of jobs. So that person can job uh, can post five jobs with this plan. Okay, and you can type some uh, some description about this. So I'm typing start selling with just $5. Click on save plan. Now, as you can see, one plan is saved over here. You can create another one. So I'm typing two SKU. And for this, I'm giving it name of plus. This will be uh, $10 and the duration will be maybe 60 uh, days. So for 60 days that whatever job is posted will display on your website. Number of M jobs can be posted. So this person can post 10 jobs. And you can type something like this in the description only $10 for 15 M jobs or so. Okay. So here is just, so let me increase this to 15. So only $10 for 15 micro jobs start selling now. Click on save plan and let's create the third one SKU three package name. Let me type in pro. This will be maybe $20 and this is permanent. So there is no time limit over here and number of jobs. They can post 30 jobs. Okay. So you can type something like 30 M jobs for just $20 unlimited time. All right. So you can uh, just type something like this and click on save plan. So this is all done. Now withdraw settings. Now minimum um, uh, amount of money to withdraw. So once the person has started doing some sales on your website, and they have started earning, they'll have to reach a minimum threshold of $50. And after that, they can withdraw that money. Okay. So you can set that thing over here. New secure code request. So all some more templates. So yeah, you don't have to do any changes to this thing. Okay. Just leave these things. These two options, SEO and translations are not important. So we can leave them. Now go to payment gateways. All right. So under payment gateways, we have few options. First is general option. And the first option that we get is payment test mode. Do you want to enable or disable test mode? So I'm going to disable that. I can simply disable this from here. Now default payment gateway. So do you want to enable PayPal? Obviously we want to enable that. Just type in your PayPal email address over here. So for me, it is realnayer.gmail.com. All right. Now we, if you want to use this thing to check out, I don't know what this is. So I don't want to do that. Now, do you want to enable cash? I don't think you should uh, enable this thing, but obviously if you want, you can enable this thing. If you, you can, if you want, you can enable this thing and you can under this message, you can type in your bank name, all those things. Okay. Bank name, IFC code, MICR code, whatever Swift code, whatever is required. You can type those things over here. So once the person selects this cash mode, they will have to transfer amount to your bank account. Once you receive that amount, you can enable that thing. So I think this is not a good idea. I think PayPal is the best option. 
because they can make payment through PayPal or they can use their credit card debit card. So I think this is the best option. Now I want to enable this credit option. Now this credit option will enable the user first. For, for example, I am a freelancer on this website. I have made five sales uh, for hundred dollars each. So I have five hundred dollars uh, in my account. Now I can use that money to purchase some jobs or something over here. Okay, so that is also very important that we can have you can use credit now PayPal Express checkout. So you have to enable this. Now you have to enable this only if you have a PayPal business account. Okay, because Express checkout requires a business account. If you use Express checkout, you can you know you can just make accept payment on the same window or on the same website you don't have to go to paypal.com i'll explain you that so let me show you how you can get a client id and client secret so you can simply open a new tab type in developer.paypal.com all right now you have to log into your dashboard click on login All right, now you can go to my apps and credentials from the left hand side first option. Now over here, you'll have to create a new account over here. I have already done that as you can see fam gifts uh, at gmail.com and it says live. You have to create a new, you'll see a button like this, create app. You have to create a new app and you'll get this thing. So let me show you under rest API access. You'll have to, I already have this one as you can see. This is live, but if you don't have this, you can click on create app again, click on create app. Okay. First you'll have to give a name type in Fiverr demo or whatever you like and click on create app. Now, as you can see, you have your client ID and secrets, simply copy your client ID from here. Come to this dashboard, paste it over here. Copy your client secret, come and paste this thing over here. Okay. So this is how you get your client ID and secret. Now go at the bottom button style for this PayPal checkout. I want pill style and color. I want blue. Select those things and click on stripe. Enable this thing. Now again, you'll have to get your live secret key and publishable key. So for this, you'll have to go to dashboard dot stripe dot com now from here you'll have to select this thing developers so click on developers click on api keys and you have to copy these two keys from here okay your publishable key and secret key so let me copy the publishable key from here paste it under live publishable key copy the secret key paste it over here all right now everything is done. Yeah, everything is done. Let me refresh this thing. Let me just to see everything is uh, saved. All right. So as you can see, everything shows over here, which is good. Now let us do one thing. Let us create few categories. Okay. Like as you can see, we have, you know, WordPress, we have different categories over here, WordPress, banner ad, logo design and all those things. So let's see how we can create a category. We'll have to create a category because whenever a person comes to our website, sign up and try to post a job, they'll have to select the category that job falls under. Okay. So first we'll have to create those categories. So to do so from the left hand side, you'll see micro jobs, how our micro jobs click on categories and let's create a first one. Let's name it WordPress uh, websites. Okay. Now you can, you can leave this slug and you can type some description if you want and you have to select a taximony Im image. Now you can select this file. Now the file that you have downloaded has all these folders. So you can go to categories. You will see this thing. So let me select this thing for WordPress. Click on open, click on set as image. And if you tick mark this thing featured taximony, it will show that category will show on your website at the home page. Okay. So make sure to select this thing. Now click on add new micro job category. As you can see, one is added. Now, similarly, you can add unlimited categories over here. Now let's not do that because we have one. Now let's see how we can create a job. Okay. So let me cut all these things from here. Let me refresh this page from here. Okay. Now let me click on post M job or micro job. 
Now, as you can see, I'll have to first select a plan. I'm selecting this one job name. So maybe I want to type something like I will create a micro job website for you. All right. And for this, there is no price for this. This is some really you know very important thing so i don't price this thing so i'm just typing hundred dollars and uh, maybe it will i'll take five days to complete this project and this thing comes under wordpress websites and under description you can type something like let us see uh, uh just see let's open some thing so you can type these things so uh, it will include all these things okay you can enter some pointers okay like this so i will provide hosting I will also provide the theme so all these things you can uh, uh, type these things you can type some note like note uh, please let me know whatever you want to know you can type in all those things so you can type the description you can add few images in the gallery you can simply click on this so in this thing you will have to you can uh, put all those things that you want to show as kind of portfolio thing okay so let me select few images from here okay let me select these four or maybe these four click on open okay the height must be 435 so those work few small ones okay it's 425 let me select this one Okay, so like this, you can include few things in the portfolio. If you want to add a link to some video, you can create a video. You can post that on YouTube for, and you can put, put that link over here. So in that video, you can explain a demo of what you're going to create or something like that. Okay, so you can simply type in if I have that video, you can put that link over here. You can add some extra services, for example. Uh, extra support okay maybe so for support um sorry okay for support uh, of seven days uh, i'll charge twenty dollars okay so extra services you can add some ssl certificate okay you can charge five dollars so you can type all these things so here you can some type some tag for example for this wordpress can be a tag now opening message now opening message is automatically displayed as your first message in the order detail page so whenever a person orders this job okay this job to us this is the first message that they can they'll see so you can write something like thank you for ordering this pro uh, this uh, uh, product or this service i'll try my best to do these things and all whatever you want to include over here you can just type in that message and click on save now you'll have to make payment uh, through PayPal or credit is not available because we don't have any cash or we don't have anything balance. So we can select PayPal from here. Now if you see PayPal Express and Stripe is not available over here, that will be available later on when a person, when a customer will try to purchase something. Alright, so I'm not going to make a payment. So I'll simply cancel these things. I'll click on back. Alright guys, so I have cancelled that transaction because I don't want to make some dummy payments. So once that payment is done, you can click on over here under micro jobs, all micro jobs. And you'll see the, that thing over here. Here it is draft. You'll have, uh, you'll see, you don't, you, you won't see draft because I haven't made the payment. I'm seeing draft, but once the payment is complete, this will be published, but you can publish this thing manually. So we can click on edit and we can simply click on publish and that job will be published okay now let me go to my dummy website home page now as you can see that thing is now showing in the latest job and that category should also be showing let's open this one now as you can see this is how it is looking i'll provide hosting and all this text is over here this is the tag this is about yourself some extra services if you want Okay, this is my service. So that's why I cannot you know, just purchase this one, but a customer can come and purchase this service. Okay, so this is how it is done.
Now let me do one thing. Let me open my website in a new incognito window and let, let me show you how this thing will work for a customer so I can open my website in a new incognito window. Let me sign up as a customer. So I'll join us type in the email. Click on continue. Set a username, password, confirm password. I accept the terms of service. Click on join. All right. So you are registered successfully. Now I can go over here and let me open this thing. Now I can order this thing. I can simply click on order now. Okay. If you want, you can, I can also order some extra services. So I want support for seven days. So as you can see, the price has increased to $120 and I can click on checkout. Now I can use, so here, as you can see, Stripe and PayPal options, are, everything is available over here. I can select Stripe. Okay. And enter the credit card, debit card details over here. And after that, I can make the payment. Now let me do a demo payment over here. So I'll enter the card number. Okay. For month, a year, CVC number, zip code, click on pay now. Congrats, your payment is successful. Okay. So this was a, de a demo payment. So don't worry about this. You can see the invoice number, the date stripe and $120. Now you can click on visit your M job order. Let's see what happens next. So as you can see, now you can see something like this. Now you can contact this person. So you can type some message. So, and type in something like, you know, I want this kind of website. And whatever you want, you can type everything, click on send and that message will be sent. Now let's see what happens uh, to that screen, to the uh, freelancer screen. Now let me refresh this. Now that freelancer has a new notification as you can see. Let's see what that notification is. That person has ordered your job. Now we can click on this. Okay. So this is the order that is the amount everything is given over here. And as you can see, we have a message which says, I want this kind of website. Now I can say, okay, I'll do that. All right. So you can do all these things you can provide and uh, okay. So by admin. So once everything is done, you have to click on start. So once you click on the start button, your timing will start. So as you can see, the date was, I guess, seven days or five days period delivery of time. Okay. So five days period has started and uh, we have to provide the service within this uh, period of time. Now, once everything is done, once the service is provided, we can, uh, we, once the website is completed, we can click on deliver. Okay. Now, before that, let me show you one thing. For example, when I click on over here and uh, when I I just open my profile in a new tab. Let me show you one thing. Let me click on revenues. Now, if you see, uh, this is the amount that you are getting. Okay. $96. Uh, the amount was actually $120. So $12 is cancelled as uh, the commission and all those things. Okay. And it's $24 is ca uh, can cancelled as the commission because we have set 20 percent commission and we are getting $96 as the income. And this is under working because this order is not yet complete. Once we deliver this thing, once the order is complete, this amount will show in the available box and we can, uh, this person can withdraw this amount. Okay. So let's see how that happens. We can click on deliver this and we can type some message. Okay. Okay. Spelling is wrong. You can attach a file. If this is something like a logo or something, you can attach that logo file. For example, this is a website. So this is not required, but suppose if it is a logo thing, some kind of different thing, uh, some article writing thing, then you can attach that file and click on send. Okay. So this is now uh, saying successful. Let's refresh this thing. Let's see whether this thing happens. 
now as you can see still it is under working because now the person has to say the customer has to say okay fine i am satisfied and everything was done properly and after that this thing will be transferred under available balance let's see let's go to the customer account let me refresh this thing now the customer has two notification first of all the uh, first one was that the conversation that the conversion has started and the second one was that the latest one one minute ago that i have delivered that person has de delivered the job and as you can see this is the time has stopped over here okay this is delivered you can see the file that you got okay once you're satisfied you can click on i accept and you can give some rating for example i'm giving five star rating you can type some uh, review over here click on send your review have submitted okay so let's again come over here let me now refresh this now as you can see this balance is shifted to available and this is the available balance the withdrawal limit was 50 dollars which means that this person can now withdraw this money let's see money amount 96 and they'll have to uh, get this secure code so they'll have to request this code over here now the secure code will be sent to their email address let's see whether we have received that all right guys so i don't see that code over here that secure code and i think the uh, reason is over here because we have to first choose a method of getting payment so first we'll have to change the payment method so let's click on change your payment method you can type in your bank account details over here and but i want to receive payment through paypal so i'll type in my paypal email address click on save okay now again let me go to uh, revenues let's try again so i want the complete amount and i don't have a secure code so i'll click on request here and let's see whether this time it works or not all right guys so as you can see we have received that secure code over here and this is the code so you simply have to copy this code from here and first of all let me enter the price paste in the code and click on submit now as you can see the payment is done so once someone has submitted the withdrawal request will have to come to a dashboard however engine settings and click on money withdrawal you will see all the withdrawal request over here for example withdrawal request for ten dollars seven dollars all these things what you have to do you have to click on this link it will give you the request and whatever it is for example this person has requested to withdraw ten dollars okay and as you can see there uh, all the information is given over here now you have to withdraw or send them this money whatever for in form they have requested for example if you have the, the if they have given the paypal address you'll have to paypal them whatever the amount is okay so this is how the whole system works okay so with this the process is over the order is done everything is done so this is the complete process that we have covered now only changing the design is left so first thing we have to change the design format so click on dashboard now our engine themes and click on site construction and design now select the second one click on select now let's go to our website let's see how it looks now now as you can see our website looks quite similar to the demo website that we have created okay so now we can do all the changes okay it looks quite similar so simply click on customize now we have to do everything one by one so simply click on title and background click on home page search first we want to create this slider we want to add all these images in this slider so we can tick mark over here use custom slider now let's select every images one by one click on upload files select files and select this slider uh, folder select everything click on open now this will upload every single image now let's upload everything one by one so let me select this one click on select now select the second image and click on upload third image upload it fourth and fifth image okay so this is how you can upload five different images in your slider okay as you can see this is your slider we have different images then we have this section you can change the title you can change all the text that comes under over here okay as you can see this is the text and this is the title so let's see how we can change that come back 
Now click on block what. Now as you can see, all this lorem ipsum text is going, given, which is exactly this text. If you want to change this text, simply delete it and put in your own text. And this is the title. What is suppose if you instead of what is micro job engine, if I want to type what is instead of micro job, I'll type in block dude and it will say what is block dude engine. So I can do these things. Now I can click on publish. Now let me open my website in a new tab. Let's see how it looks. As you can see, all the images are present over here and I have this what is block to the engine. Now this is the latest uh, uh, jobs that will display over here. So we don't have to do any changes over here. Then after that, why work with micro job engine? So we'll have to click on this block Y. Now instead of MJE, I can type in why work with block dude engine. Okay. Now, if you want, you can change this image, uh, this image over here, you can simply click on select files and upload your own image. Now I don't recommend that because I think this looks quite good. Obviously you can change the, you should change this text, a lot of text. This is some dummy text. So instead of that text, uh, here it is. You can change uh, this text from here, then come back. After this, we have job categories. So all the job categories will automatically show over here. Then we have how work uh, with uh, MJE and you how this works. So enter your needs, select your favorite seller and all those things. If you want to make some changes over here, click on block how, as you can see, enter your needs, all this text. So obviously you can change this text from here. All right. And then we have this section. I don't recommend you changing anything from here. Okay. So you can simply just publish this cause cut this thing from here. Now, as you can see, our website is almost complete. Now only two things are left. Okay. If you see the, we don't have a menu and we don't have this photo. So let's see how we can do these two things. So come back to your dashboard. First, let's create a menu. So we can simply hover this uh, appearances and click on menus. Now we can give it a new name. So I can just name it main menu or primary menu, whatever you like and click on create menu. All right. Now just make sure that standard header menu is selected and click on save menu. Now we can click on screen options. Okay. So this is not working, which is not a problem. We can click on over here manage with live preview. Now I want to show all the categories, the post categories, the job categories over here. So it's quite easy. Let's see what happens. So when you click on that, you will see these things main menu that we have created. Click on this and click on add items. Now what items do you want to add? So we want to add uh, categories of jobs. So here it is at the bottom micro job categories. Click on this one. And we just have one single category at present, which we have created WordPress website. So let's add that one. Click on plus. Let's click on publish. Let's come over here. Let's refresh this website. Now, as you can see, this is showing. So similarly, you can, when you create more categories, you can add those to your, uh, to your nav bar or your, to your menu. Okay. Now in the bottom, if you see, we have many pages. These are different pages. For example, let's open this trust and quality page. As you can see, this is a page and we have all this text over here. You don't have to create a page. I'll show you how you can import all these pages because all these pages are nothing but simple text. Okay. Trust and quality, how it works about us and all this. These are some simple pages. Let's see how we can do that. So cut this thing from here. Now from the left hand side, uh, how are tools and click on import. Now click on install now under WordPress because you want to import from WordPress. Click on run importer. Choose file and come over here under this folder. You will see this one. Uh, the one this file, which the one which says two in the bracket. Okay. Select this, click on open, click on upload file and import. You can select uh, any, uh, you know, uh, author that you want. So I'm selecting this one. Just tick mark this, click on submit. Okay, so this will import all the pages. So let's see, click on pages. Now as you can see, 
about us and all these pages uh, and privacy policy all these pages are imported now we can use this to uh, enter them or to put them under our footer so let's see how we can do that so first of all we'll have to create a new menu so how are appearances and click on menus so what we'll do is we'll create a menu for this one we'll create a menu for these three links and for another menu for these three links okay so we'll be creating three different menus over here quite easy we have to select pages and in the first menu suppose i want to show home page about us page and how it works page so i can select these three okay and first of all you'll have to create a new menu so click on create a new menu because this was main menu now let's name it footer one okay so this menu is for footer one this section now let's select all the pages that you want to show here home page about us page and how it works page click on add to menu now because about us is all capital letters or uppercase letters i'll simply change this text how it works same thing for this one all right click on save menu okay with this footer one is complete now let's create a new menu so click on create new menu let's name it footer two click on create menu and in this one uh, let's add these pages privacy policy page terms of service page trust and quality page click on add to menu and similarly you can change uh, instead of this uppercase you can just type in in simple letters okay and you can do this for all these three different pages and click on save menu now let's create a third menu click on create a new menu let's name it footer three click on create menu and maybe in this i want to add these pages uh the you know my invoice my listing profile dashboard all these pages and click on add to menu i want the dashboard at the top and profile at uh, over here and we can change this thing okay so i just want this to say dashboard i want this to say profile I don't want these hyphens, so I'll change this thing. I'll type in my invoices. Okay. My listing jobs. And my list orders. Click on save menu. So we have created three different menus and we can now use them in three different locations over here. It's quite easy. So what you can do is we can how over, over here appearances and we can click on widgets. Now you'll see footer one, footer two, footer three, footer four. So drag this navigation menu under footer one, select the footer one menu and you can give it a title of discover or whatever you like. So I'm giving this a title of discover, click on save menu. Let me refresh this website. Let's scroll down. Now, as you can see, the title is discover and we have these three pages showing over here. Now, similarly, drag this navigation menu under footer two. Select footer two menu for this. Just give it a title of company. Save this thing. Do the same thing, navigation menu footer three title of more links select footer 3 from here click on save menu and in the fourth one we have this email address so you can just copy this from here select this thing custom html drag this under footer 4 and you can paste this thing and we can give it a title of contact us okay so let me copy this title paste it over here click on save Let's come and let's refresh this page. Okay, so as you can see, this is how it looks. Now the bottom thing is left, how to change this thing, uh, uh, how to change uh, the copyright text. So you can simply click on this, customize. Click on site identity. And you'll see this copyright thing. So you can paste in whatever you want in the copyright text you can paste it over here for example copyright uh, 
Naya Sheikh or blog2.com. So whatever you like, you can paste it over here and click on publish. After that, cut this thing. All right, guys. So with this, we complete this tutorial. We have covered every single thing. We have seen how to create pages, how to create categories, how to post a job, how a person can purchase a job, how the payment works, how to set up payment gateways and everything. So I hope this video was helpful. If you have learned something new this, to this from this video, you can give a thumbs up to this video. You can obviously subscribe to my channel because I have many more helpful videos to come in the future. If you have any doubt, any suggestions for me, if you have you know any problem creating this website you can leave all those comments in the comments section below thanks a lot for watching guys see you soon